Lauren Till with you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As always, thank you so much for making the time to join us for BTW 21 News. I'm Luis Romero. A lot of updates that we have to get to, so let's uh, get right into the news. We're going to first start off with a crash, a fatal crash to be exact. The Virginia State Police says that they are just now reporting it happened about two weeks ago. The Virginia State Police says charges are pending in a crash that killed a 47-year-old woman in Franklin County. The crash happened on January 9th at around 6 p.m. on Old Franklin Turnpike at the intersection of Webster Road. State police reports that a 2022 Chevrolet Silverado was going east on Old Franklin Turnpike when the vehicle crossed the center line and struck a 2017 Dodge Caravan head-on. The Chevrolet driver Michael Odenwald 43 of Paw Paw, Michigan, was wearing his seatbelt and was transported for injuries received in the crash. Police say the Dodge driver, Monica Michelle Austin of Glade Hill, was wearing her seatbelt and died at the scene. The crash remains under investigation. And we have to bring you another update. This one is in regards to that large house fire that happened earlier this month. We now have learned the cause. And that's all according to the fire marshal's office. The cause of a Henry County fire that rekindled has been determined. According to Henry County Assistant Fire Marshal Kai Cooper, the fire started from a lithium battery and a child's toy underneath the deck of the home. As we reported, the large home on General Long Street Court in the Chatmoss area of the county caught fire Saturday, January 13th. The family made it out safely, but at least two pets did not, according to firefighters. Firefighters worked for about seven hours and saved half the structure. Officials said windy conditions caused the fire to reignite, and the structure was again fully engulfed when crews arrived around 8 a.m. Sunday, January 14th. The home is considered a total loss. Volunteer fire departments from Dyer Store, Axton, Martinsville, Ridgeway, and Bassett responded on that Sunday morning. The Henry County Department of Public Safety, of course, also assisted. Now for uh, a crash that happened on Monday afternoon. We have to let you know that one individual was hurt, and it does not appear that that person went to the hospital. Our very own Chad Hall responded there and was able to capture these images. Again, that female we know was hurt. Uh, EMS services were called to the scene and later uh, disregarded and we don't know if that individual did go to the hospital or not, whether they were taken by family members or friends, we do not know because again, there would be no way for us to know, but this happened in the 1900 block of Joseph Martin Highway, of course in Henry County near the uh, church there and calls came out for emergency services to respond around 3.30 p.m. The Ridgeway District Volunteer Fire Department and Virginia State Police, of course, responded. And as you can see, this vehicle it appears to be a sedan landed on its side after it appears that it ran off the roadway and landed there near a creek, injuring the VMR driver. Again, the extent of those injuries is unknown, but we do know that they were not serious since that female, again, we know did not go to the hospital by ambulance and Again, this was a single vehicle crash that appears that that vehicle ran off the road and landed on its side and it continues to be investigated by state police. Moving on now to another crash report. This one happening on this Tuesday. We know that two individuals were injured in this one. It does not appear that anyone had to be transported to the hospital. At least that's what we understand so far. That could have changed since we were there at the scene, but it happened on East Church Street, and this was at the intersection of Bob Gregory Street. Again, two individuals were hurt. This was between two vehicles, and it was a white Toyota sedan and a gray GMC pickup truck. Martinsville Fire and EMS, the Martinsville Police Department, and Public Works all responded to the crash. It did cause a, a bit of a delay, not too much. We were just asking you to be cautious since rescue members and again, law enforcement were there at the scene. 
but thankfully, again, those individuals did uh, not appear to have any serious injuries, and it is unknown if they were taken to the hospital. But uh, as always, folks, if there's additional information that changes in regards to anything that we've covered, you can count on us to bring those updates on air and at btw21.com. Before we take a quick commercial break, the Henry County uh, Ridgeway District Supervisor Travis Pruitt held a meet and greet session at the Ridgeway Rescue Squad, of course, in Ridgeway on uh, Monday night. And there was appearances by Henry County Sheriff Wayne Davis, the Supervisor of Reed Creek, Pam Cobbler, the Superintendent Amy Blake Lewis, again, to be able to engage with the community so it's important for uh, you to, to realize what's happening in your local government. You see a lot of news on the state and federal level, but um, it's super important for you to know what's happening here in your local community and your hometown. Now, Pruitt did tell us that he expects to do this quarterly, and of course you can count on BTW21 to keep you updated when those meetings happen. So again, you can stay involved in your local government. We're going to take a quick commercial break, folks. There's more news after these messages. At Sova Family Medicine Martinsville, our providers, along with their compassionate team, are ready to provide your entire family, ages 2 and older, with preventative and sick care. There are many services provided, such as hypertension, acute illnesses and injuries, annual, school, and sport physicals, diabetes, and chronic medical conditions, and so much more. We are now accepting new patients. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sober Family Medicine of Martinsville is located at 110 Commonwealth Boulevard West, Martinsville, Virginia. You can call at 276-666-7328 or visit soberphysicians.com slash primary care for more information. New College Institute is a premier educational facility for students, businesses, and the community at large. Expand your career opportunities by getting certifications in advanced manufacturing, technology, healthcare industries, and much more. NCI now offers GWO certified training in one of the fastest growing industries, wind energy. You can also earn your degree from one of our partner Virginia universities, all while staying close to home. Get started today and let New College Institute help you achieve your goals. Do you like to learn how to rent your first apartment or buy your first home? Do you need help cleaning up your credit? At the Center for Housing Education, we're providing you with valuable resources and training to help you transition to your new housing lifestyle. Visit the Center for Housing Education at 51 East Street, Martinsville, Virginia. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Give us a call at 276 302-1656. All services are free. Cultivate a new housing lifestyles. The Center for Housing Education. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to your BTW21 News Forecast. I'm your local forecaster, Shania Dalton. Hope everyone is staying well and staying dry while you can because... The rain is definitely going to start coming in very soon. Let's look at this evening's forecast. Tuesday night, 5 p.m., cloudy skies at 44 degrees. 8 p.m., still cloudy at 44. At 11 p.m., still going to see those clouds at 39 degrees. That sunset is going to be at 534 p.m. All right, let's look at tonight's overnight forecast. Like I just said, it's going to be a cloudy one with a chance of some showers after midnight. 50% chance for that rain, and we're going to have those south-southeast winds at only 2 miles per hour. Boone's Mill at 38, Rocky Mount at 40, Fairham at 40, Oak Lover at 39, Wine at 44, Martinsville at 39, Ridgeway at 38, Stewart at 42, and Air Rat at 40 for tonight. All right, for tomorrow, it's going to be a cloudy and rainy day. 70% chance for that rain. Southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Boone's Mill at 49, Rocky Mountain at 50, Fairham at 50, Oak Level at 51, Martinsville at 52, Ridgeway at 53, 
Will Wan at 53, Stewart also at 53 for tomorrow, and lastly, Ararat at 50 degrees. All right, everybody, so we are definitely warmer than what we were on last week, being at 52 for tomorrow for that high and 47, but we are going to be at a 5 out of 10 on tomorrow. We're going to start off with some rain, then we're going to see some clouds, and then later on in the afternoon is going to be some more rain. So it's going to be a pretty rainy day. Like it says right there, cloudy with periods of rain. Like I said, 70% chance for that rain and then the southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. That sunrise will be at 727 a.m. All right, lastly, let's check out our three day forecast. As you see, it's full of rain tomorrow. Like I said, we're going to start off with that light rain. It's going to die down a little bit, but as the day go on, the rain chance will increase. 70% chance for those showers, 52 for that hot on tomorrow. Now looking at tomorrow night, it's still going to be some more rain at 60%, 47 degrees, so not getting too much cooler, but it is going to be a wet one. Now on Thursday, still going to see that rain at 70%, but we are going to warm up quite a bit and get in the 60s at 62 degrees, so definitely spring-like temperatures on Thursday. Now moving into Thursday night, as you can guess, we're still going to have that chance of rain, 57, so not too bad of a night temperature-wise, but... That rain pattern will continue, and as you see, it will continue on Friday. The rain chance will go down to 40%, and it's almost hitting 70 at 69, but Friday night, that rain chance will increase. So, guys, go ahead and get your rain gear ready, because it's going to be a wet and rainy one for this week. Relationships, they are the most precious and important thing we have in life uncorrected or improperly corrected hearing loss negatively affects each and every one of those relationships. Did you know that you have hearing insurance benefits available to you? At Ashbrook Audiology, we are the region's go-to providers for benefits from affordable hearing care, true hearing, and many more. Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter, Martinsville and Danville. Welcome to Zimmar Chiropractic, your solution to a pain-free life. With our specialized chiropractic adjustments, we target back and neck injuries, offering tailored treatments for your specific needs. Conveniently located at 3652 Virginia Avenue, our advanced facility includes in-house x-ray machines and skilled massage therapists. Call us now at 276-647-5555 to take the first step towards a healthier and more comfortable you. Zimmer Chiropractic, your path to wellness starts here. Hi, Barry Nelson at GR Chevrolet. It's Payment City today. We got a 2017 cruise, only $239 a month. That's a great deal. Payments keep rolling. A 2017 Sonic LT, only $217 a month. You want a great SUV? A 15 Equinox, only $199 a month. Woohoo! All right, we got a 2016 Colorado. Only $2.99 a month. That's a great deal for a truck, a good truck. You want a truck at a good price, cheap truck, $3.29 for 18 Ram. That's an 18 Ram 1500 with a Hemi. Come get it at GR Chevrolet. Got a 2018 Silverado, Texas edition. You know everything's bigger in Texas. This is only $3.99 a month for a lifted truck at GR Chevrolet where everybody knows cars cost less. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us for BTW 21 News and it is now time for us to turn it over to Christian Hall for sports. <laughs>
nearly 30 years, Drake Extrusion offers you the personalized service and flexibility of a custom supplier. With research and development based on two continents, Drake is on the cutting edge of polypropylene fiber technology. We work daily with polymer suppliers to improve existing products and meet the challenge of new end uses. We not only value our products, but we also value our employees. For more information, email us at info at drakeextrusion.com or give us a call at 276-632-0159. Boyce Holland Veterinary Services since January 1st, 1982. Celebrating 42 years of caring for your furry friends. In 2024, we're overjoyed to mark our 42nd anniversary in the veterinary business. A journey filled with countless wagging tails, we extend our heartfelt thanks to every pet parent who has chosen us over the years. Your loyalty and trust have been the cornerstones of our success. From adorable puppies and kittens to wise seniors, each furry friend has become a cherished part of our extended family. As we celebrate this significant anniversary, we eagerly look forward to many more years of serving our community and being a trusted partner in the health and happiness of your pets. Thank you for 42 positively wonderful years. Here's to many more tail wagon moments together at Boyce Holland Veterinary Services, Stewart, Virginia. Keep mice, rats, and rodents outside where they belong. The best way to avoid a rodent infestation is to prevent them from ever getting inside. Terminex offers solutions to help keep harmful rodents out. Give us a call, 540-339-6955 for your inspection today. Hey guys, this is Amy with Homes by Amy and Company, Keller Williams of Martinsville. We proudly serve Martinsville, Henry County, Patrick County, and surrounding areas. We enjoy helping purchasers find their dream home. We offer staging services to anyone who may need it, and we take pride in selling our listings quickly and getting our clients the most return for their investment. My team and I want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making us number one real estate firm locally. We are here for all of your real estate needs. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is now time for your crime report, as always, brought to you by our friends at Apex Bell Bonds. Stacy Fagala of Roanoke, charged at forging coins or banknotes and false pretenses. Shannon Mitchell of Philadelphia, possession schedule one or two drugs. Richard Robertson of Axton, charged with contempt of court, failure to appear. Gary Amos of Stewart charged with probation violation felony and probation violation misdemeanor. Lloyd Dill of Bassett, charged with probation violation felony. Herman Fallen of Martinsville, charged with petty larceny, less than $500, not from person, simple assault on law enforcement, fire rescue personnel, resisting arrest, obstructing justice by threats or force, and falsely identifying self to law enforcement. Malcolm Fernandez of Martinsville, charged with probation violation felony and probation violation misdemeanor. Richard Harrison of Martinsville, charged with contempt of court, failure to appear. Chantel Harrison of Martinsville, charged with bail release on unsecured bond. Amber Marshall of Bassett, charged with convicted felon, possessed concealed weapon, not firearm, and possession schedule one or two drugs. Hi, I'm Stephen Edwards and I'm the owner of Riverside Tire Service. 
At Riverside Tire Service, we have been a staple in this community for over 40 years as your premier Michelin tire dealer. Now with that relationship with Michelin for over 40 years, we can pass on savings to you that no one else can compare to. We have over $50,000 worth of Michelins in stock ready to fit your vehicle. If we don't have it, we also receive two deliveries a day so we can get you rolling in a timely manner. You know where to get them big old tars and lift kits? Where's that? Down there at that PVT. Really? They got big tars, they got small tars, they even got medium-sized tars. And they got the best prices too. PVT Express, 608 Stoltz Road in Martinsville. Hi, I'm Simone Red, President and CEO of Martinsville First Savings Bank. We would like for you all to come in and see us, see what products that we have and what we can do to serve you. And we like your business. We're a part of this community and we love our community. Martinsville First Savings Bank is located at 25 West Church Street, Martinsville, Virginia. And our phone number is 276-638-8771. Welcome back. Obituaries by Bassett Funeral Service are next. Gloria Hawkins Weaver, 82 of Martinsville, Virginia, passed away Friday, January the 19th, 2024. Visitation will be held at 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Wednesday, January the 24th at Stalin Avenue Baptist Church. A funeral service will be held at 11 a.m. Noise Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Cheryl Harrison, 62, of Martinsville, Virginia, passed away Friday, January the 19th, 2024. The funeral will be Friday, January the 26th at 12 p.m. at Wright Funeral Service Chapel. Visitation will be one half hour prior to that service. Wright Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the family. Arlene Strickland Smith, 72, passed away January the 21st, 2024. A celebration of life will be held at 11 a.m. Saturday, January the 27th at Noise Funeral Services in Martinsville. Noise Funeral Service and Crematory is serving the Smith family. Louise Gravely, 97, of Martinsville, Virginia, transitioned from this earthly life Saturday, January the 20th, 2024. A visitation service will be held Saturday, January the 27th at 11.30 a.m. until the time of the funeral service at 12 noon at Rock Hill Primitive Baptist Church in Martinsville, Virginia. A public viewing will be held Friday, January the 26th, 1 to 5 p.m. Hi, I'm Paul Kennedy with Bassett Funeral Service and I'm excited to introduce our new funeral director, Beth Edna Harrison of Bassett, Virginia. Hello, my name is Beth Edna Harrison. I'm a funeral director with Bassett Funeral Services. I am happy to be back home in Bassett, Virginia, serving my community as a funeral director. I look forward to serving you. Bassett Funeral Service has been serving Martinsville and Henry County for 28 years. In 2024, let our family serve your family. Harbors. Harbor Towing and Recovery is expanding. 4173 Virginia Avenue in Collinsville. Harbor now offers custom tire and wheels with advanced technology. Automotive repair? No problem for Harbor. From simple repair to major semi-trucks, Harbor's got you covered. Oil changes, brakes, front end alignment on any size vehicle or trucks. And remember, 24-hour towing. So you tell the police to call Harbor Towing. 276-632-2580. Do you need a tractor and loader, backhoe, excavator, compact track loader, or implements? Well, Freel Equipment has it. Freel Equipment can deliver to Roanoke, Bedford, Franklin, Henry County, and surrounding areas. Freel Equipment offers services to contractors, homeowners, farmers, quality equipment at affordable pricing, 
So give Frill Equipment a call at 540-420-3475. A broken or cracked windshield can ruin a day. At Daniel's Auto Glass, it's our goal to make that unfortunate scenario as painless as possible. We have been servicing Franklin County and the surrounding area since 1995. Our customers are our neighbors, and we want you to know that you have the choice who repairs or replaces your windshield. And if you can't come out to us, we can come out to you. We also offer window tinting, and we are fully equipped and certified to reset all camera systems in any windshield, both in shop and with our mobile unit. Greetings, I am Quentin Walton, Director of Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, licensed in North Carolina and Virginia. Our staff is committed to serve you continuously. Service for all within the means of all is our goal for the community. We have a professional staff qualified to serve you and your family to help you gain knowledge, especially in pre-need borough planning, insurance strategies to promote wealth for you and your family. Having 29 years of excellent service, the establishment is now serving two locations, Fulton Walton Funeral Home and Cremation Service, LLC, 219 Dillard School Drive, Yanceyville, North Carolina, phone 336-694-4881, and Fulton Walton Memorial Chapel, 417 Price Street, Eden, North Carolina, phone 336-627-3300, website www.fultonwaltonfuneralhome.com. Allow us the Fulton Walton Funeral Home staff to help you and your family in your time of bereavement. Are you looking for a fresh cut steak? Stop by the Sirloin House where we offer hand cut steaks daily. Enjoy our world famous sirloin tips or our chicken tips. We also offer fresh seafood and plate lunches that start at $7.99 for a meat and two. Come see us at 207 South Van Buren Road in Eden, North Carolina and follow us on Facebook for all our specials. Call us at 336-623-7778 for all your carryout or catering needs. Zyrus Treasure Chest is a thrift and variety shop located in Central Plaza. We specialize in gently worn clothing for everyone. We have everything from musical equipment to ham radios, scuba gear to sewing machines, furniture items, jewelry, books, whatever you need. If we don't have it today, check back tomorrow. We will do our best to find it for you. We accept all major credit and debit cards. We are open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. and Fridays till 7 p.m. Stop by, browse, say hello. You are welcome to here. Ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up here for my time on this Tuesday. As always, thank you so much for making us part of your day. We expect to see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Have a good evening, everyone.